What's going on everybody? Willie here and football season is right around the corner. That means we need to make some fried chicken. Today's chicken we're making is chicken karage. Really awkward spelling. ka la a -ge. This is a Japanese style fried chicken that uses chicken thighs with the skin on. Get out of here with your boneless, skinless chicken breast. We ain't out of here to be healthy. Chicken karage is fried chicken thighs, usually marinate with soy sauce, sake, and ginger. It can usually be bought at outside vendors, convenience stores, supermarkets, restaurants, izakayas, and even the karaoke room. Anyway, we gotta start by prepping the chicken and make some marinade. All right, for this marinade, we're gonna need a little bit of sesame oil. Not too much though, because the shit just strong for no reason. We're gonna need some soy sauce. That should be good. We need some sake. Now, I don't know anything about Japanese sake, so we're gonna use good old one cup. Oh, there's some directions here. Pull, it says pull straight and then lift up. Okay, up. Oh, oh, that's fancy. Oh God, I just spilled it everywhere again. I've never actually bought this before, so let's go ahead and review the one cup sake. Yeah, we're gonna grate some ginger in here. And we're gonna add some MSG, because MSG makes everything better. We're gonna go ahead and whisk this up. Now we're gonna add this to our bag. So I get as much air out as possible. And we're gonna let this marinate for like, mm, like 30 minutes to an hour. Uh, we could do it overnight, yeah, but ain't nobody got no time for that. And while you wait, you could try to do something productive with all your time. Ah, shit! God damn it! All right, it's frying time. So what we got here is some flour and then some cornstarch. What we're gonna do, we're gonna take a piece of the chicken. And lightly dredge it in the flour, dust off the excess, and then drop it in the cornstarch. Pan and... Mm. I added a little sesame oil to this too. We're gonna fry this for now on low heat and you'll see why soon. Okay, I'm gonna just fry three pieces right now so I don't crowd my pan. I want all the chicken to have its own space, you know? Social distancing. Now once our chicken's about this color, yeah this color, we're gonna actually take this out right now. We're not done cooking it. We're gonna let it finish cooking in some hotter oil. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up this whole batch and then we'll be back. All right, so we got this full batch finally cooked up. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn up the heat of our oil and then we're gonna pop it back in at a higher heat to get a little darker and crispier. I actually changed out the oil too because my oil is really frothy as you can see in that pan back there. Now we're gonna put this back in. All right, now you see this is the color we're gonna try to get on it now. And then when you have a batch finished, go ahead and hit it with some finishing salt. This will help crisp it up even more. Make sure to get both sides too. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of this chicken. Oh my God, I'm gonna get so fat. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of this chicken and then we're gonna plate up. All right, for our dipping sauce, we're gonna get some QP mayonnaise, a little bit of lemon juice, and a little bit of togarashi. This is a little Japanese spice mix. I think it's really good. Give this a good swirl. A little more MSG won't hurt actually. Then to our plate, we're just gonna add a little lemon wedge and make it look nice. All right, and with that, we're ready to enjoy this nice little meal here. This isn't a meal. We need something, hold on a second. We need something like edamame and some fries. One more thing. Some kini. Come by. Oh, yeah. So much better than that other thing we drank earlier. This thing, no. Eat the dakimas. Let's go ahead and dig in. Mm-hmm. Oh. Let me bring you in on this. Oh, look at this color. You can hear that crispiness. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's what you want. Now I know we didn't marinate it for that long, but most of it's there. That, uh, especially the sake, actually. The sake and the ginger. You still get it, even though we deep fried it. Just, yeah, that ginger coming, pow! That sake coming, pow, with a left up. <laughs> See, Mama, I'm eating my vegetables, too. And I'm drinking my juice. 
Yeah. All these flavors are here. Well, that's all the time we got here today. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this food and drink this beer. Please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, go ahead and try this one out for yourself. Trust me. Woo!